What's up you guys, welcome back to another Off-Road Outlaws video. I hope you all are having an amazing day. Now today we are actually gonna be building Whistling Diesel's new truck. He just got his limited F-350. So let's go ahead and jump over to the dealership. All right, you guys, so now we have a little bit more money and we're about to do some building here. So like I said, we will be building Whistling Diesel's new limited F-350, you know, it's super duty. So what we need to do, we actually need to head into the dealership here and we're gonna go to trucks. Now all we gotta do is just kind of scroll through here and we should see the f-350 on here somewhere let's see okay there it is so this is the truck we will be using for the whistling diesel build now i know it's not going to be identical to his truck that he has right now but we're going to make it look as close to his as possible so first of all we're going to go ahead and purchase the truck there that way we do have it in our yard now we are able to customize the truck to make it look just like his now let's go ahead and jump into customize here because we need to get to work on all of that kind of get the paint going the rims going the lift all that good stuff you know to make this thing look exactly like Wilson Diesel's truck now if we go into a body right here now he doesn't really have a lot of stuff going on with the body I'm kind of looking down at my picture right there um he doesn't really have a lot of stuff going on with the body so I don't think we're actually going to make any changes to the body well except for the bed because we do need to change the bed up and make it to where it's not a dually because this truck is not a dually that he has right now so let's go ahead and change that let's see does it give us that option we'll kind of do some research to see if we can change and put a regular bed on this truck not sure if we can but we will sure attempt it um, we're going to go into tires here go to the back right here and we're going to choose the non-dually wheels and now if we choose the bed and try to choose the fenders now if it allows us to do that yeah so it has like those fenders man i don't know i don't think it's going to let it do it guys all right, so I know I can choose these like shaved fenders there or cut fenders and it'll actually bring in that bed just a little bit. But the thing is, it just doesn't look right when you do that. See, it's got so much wheel gap right there. It just doesn't look right, okay? So I think guys, unfortunately, what we're gonna have to do is use the dually bed for this build. Now I know I did not wanna do that. Trust me, I did not wanna do that. But I think we have to, honestly, because I think that's the only thing that's going to work. Um, so let's go ahead and get out of here and go ahead and apply those. Well, you know what? We're not even going to apply those mods yet. We're going to go into paint, right? We're going to go ahead and buy this glossy paint. Now, his truck is like a really dark blue color, almost like that right there. So if we kind of go about right there. So that's going to be the color of Whistling Diesel's, you know, F350, his limited super duty so if we go ahead and make our windows pretty dark there because his windows are pretty dark now as far as the wheels go we need to go ahead and change that so uh let, let's see as far as the tires go you guys i think we're gonna go with these so now we're gonna go on to the rims here as far as these go i don't think we can use these because uh, it's got the black in the middle but we may have to we may have to actually let's just kind of roll through here and see um, i'm kind of liking the way these rims look all right guys we just went with those rims right there hey I, I think it's turning out pretty good now we'll just make those rims bigger of course here in just a second so just give me one moment and we will do that let's go ahead and apply those mods for twenty four thousand, and we're going to do some adjusting to the wheels and the lift and everything um like the rims and tires um we, we need to adjust all of that now i know that the truck has got a dually bed on it so you guys just ignore that try to ignore that best you can um, but yeah, here we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go into tuning here and we're gonna go to tune suspension. Now, I need to go ahead and start off the axis with because this is honestly bothering me so bad and we gotta get this fixed in the back. Uh, maybe it'll look a little better by the time we, uh, you know, get this on here. Okay, so that may be pretty good. I don't know. Um, it looks a little weird right now, I know, but we are gonna change it. So give me one second. Now, it's not gonna be a dually. I know we got a dually bed. And like I said, I'm just saying this a lot because there may be some people out there asking me like, why'd you use a dually bed, this and that? But, but um, we're actually using it just because we have to. And those rims, uh, yeah, so uh, we're, we're just gonna do that right there. Man, we're just gonna have to find like an in-between. So yes, look at that, look at that. Oh man. Well, uh, <laughs> it's spaced out in the front, but it's not in the rear just because we got a dually bed on the truck. Oh man, okay. Um, yes, there we go. So that's, uh, we're, we're getting the truck going. So that's all that matters. Let's move our damping around 2700 leaf spring. We'll go ahead and adjust that up like that. Leaf spring up like that. Okay, and now spring brackets, we'll move those up. Spring brackets, move those up. All right, stiffness. Now, as far as the stiffness goes, um, I guess we'll just kind of put that around 21,000. Stiffness in the front, um, sure, about 20,000. Or stiffness in the rear, around 20,000. Travel here. Now, the travel, we're actually going to keep it about right there. And we need to go up with the front. So, let's go ahead and move this up. In this picture that I'm looking at, um, I think this is about how the truck sits 
right here now actually we do need a little more lift on the front so we got that and we need more lift in the rear so let's go ahead and add this right there so i think everything's looking pretty good for the uh suspension now we just need to adjust the shock size here now our rims our rims need to be as big as they will go that that's one thing that is for sure our rims need to go as big as they can and uh yes that, that hey that's actually looking really good as far as the wheel radius and everything we're pretty close as of right now already all right you guys so as you can see we changed the suspension there we went the i beam in the front and the uh, trophy in the back what i should have done is changed the suspension in the beginning so i uh, don't make that mistake and go ahead and change all of that and do all your suspension settings after you uh, of course change your suspension so now let's uh kind of get all of this going again now we use the i-beam in the front like i said and the trophy in the rear that kind of give us that look of you know his suspension on his truck now by no means am i saying that uh his truck uses that type of suspension that's just what we use to uh get the look we were going for so actually i like the way the i-beam shocks look because that actually looks a lot more like his shocks on his truck so it's kind of go about right there now let's see shocks we could change these we're gonna do those right there those right there look good so good so the i-beam actually turned out amazing for that they worked out so so good then the shocks in the rear right here we can go ahead and adjust this we're, we're just gonna make these really big like about right there just so they take up a lot more space you know and it just looks like we have a lot going on right there so if we do that all right that looks pretty good okay you guys now we have the truck set up pretty close to a whistling diesels right here and like i said now i know of course his doesn't have a dually bed but um we're just doing what we have to to make this truck work now those tires actually i feel like the tires are a little more aggressive than they need to be so if we kind of go into uh customize we can make the tires look not so aggressive all right so here we are at the rear tire right there so if you click to the left twice you can actually get these tires and i think that's gonna better suit his build right here his uh truck so if we go ahead and apply that, we got those on there now. And you guys, look at that. We got Whistling Diesel's truck, his new F-350 in Off-Road Outlaws, just like that. Wasn't too hard at all. Hope you guys did enjoy this. Hope you did follow along with me and you got your Wilson Diesel F-350 in game. Now, man, this thing looks so, so good, you guys. We do need to go into upgrades here and go ahead and throw some engine power on this thing, you know, because we don't want a weak truck. We got to go ahead and throw some grip on it and we're going to go ahead and do everything else and get it diesel swapped, throw some turbos, the e-brake, and we should be good. All right, so as you can see, we went ahead and diesel swapped the truck and it says uh, back to gas there. We, we don't want to click that. We're going to leave that how it is because we want to roll some coal. That's what we got going on here all right go ahead and throw on our turbos and we got the e-brake on go ahead and throw on the turbos all right so we are all good there we got the turbos maxed out the truck is ready to go we got that turbo sound it, it, it's gonna sound amazing it's gonna sound so great but anyway you guys i think that's gonna wrap it up right here we will be going out and driving this truck here pretty soon so be sure to look out for that video but anyway guys like i said i'm gonna get out of here i hope you guys did enjoy this man this build turned out great it looks so good. The truck looks so good, man. I, I just love the way this turned out. Like I said, you guys, I'm going to get out of here. You guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, guys.